I want to thank you for coming by. I, I would have understood if you hadn't. Um, the blow-up that we had about Marty... Was, uh, I was uh, out of line. Way out of line. I never got a chance to tell you how truly sorry I am that I accused you of of something that you didn't do, and I'm asking you to forgive me for the way that I acted. Well, it's not the first time I've been accused of something I didn't do. I admit I was pretty burned up at first, but then I started to take in what you told me, what Marty's been through, and I can understand you getting blind mad. But, uh, you scared me, Rev. I scared myself. I've been through uh, a lot in the last year or so. But that, that, that's not an excuse for what I did to you. Forget it. <clears throat> Listen, I've been thinking, uh... Are you sure that Marty was raped? Absolutely. Then who did it? You got any ideas? I'm not sure exactly who did it, but more and more I am sure that it's someone Marty knows. Did, did Marty run in here and tell you she was raped? No. I mean, there was no missing that something horrible had happened to her. And uh, she couldn't even talk. She was ready to come forward and press charges yesterday, and then she changed her mind all of a sudden. How come? Because she doesn't think anyone will believe her. I gotta admit it, Rev. That was my first instinct. I mean, Marty's not what you'd call squeaky clean. Which has nothing to do with what happened hey, to her. Hey, I was wrong. I admit it. If what she says happened really happened, the last thing she needs is anyone doubting her word. It must have been tough for her to come forward at all. I think it was probably the hardest thing Marty's ever had to do. Come to me, go through a hospital examination, then give a statement to the police. It's... So she did talk to the cops? Yes, but in rape cases, they won't proceed unless she says she's ready to press charges. And right now, I just don't think she'll do it. Maybe I should go see her. If she wants to see me. I think that would be so good for her. Now, there's one more thing. What I did, blurting out about Marty. I feel horrible about that. That is very unprofessional. I lost it. I know that. I will deal with it somehow. I never should have said anything. I said forget it. I'm not a gossip. <sighs> no, you are a gentleman. <sighs> anyway, I'm not worried about my reputation. It's just that Marty's had so much trouble trusting people that if she finds that I broke that confidence... I'm not going there to break anything. I'm going to mend some fences. If I can. And you don't want me coming over here and interrupting you at home. So don't make me come back. Don't say anything about the party or me or the other guys to anybody else. And I won't have to visit you again. But if I do have to visit you again, Marty, it won't be as polite as this visit was. I figure that's all we need to talk about, for now. <laughs> Don't make me come back.
come in. Sweet. Did you see Marty? Yeah, I saw her. This time with my eyes wide open. What's that mean? Is she all right? She's just fine. You, on the other hand, need your eyes opened. Nobody raped her. I'd bet on it. She's conning everyone she's telling that trash to, including you, Ref. What, what are you talking about? What happened to Marty's? I don't even want to get into this. I'm sick of being played for a fool. I'm sick of getting suckered into giving her the benefit of the doubt. And I'm sick of everybody guilting me into thinking that she's some lost soul that I can help she's save. She's telling the truth. Now, for God's sakes, believe her. Look, you can buy her story whatever it is. I know better now. I know that the only time that girl's happy is when she's playing with fire. 